Don't judge me, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just guessing on how to do this. I see this one, it's starting to come out. So you got a room and a library with some plushies book. and a book. About and bingo. Plushies. And you got squashmallows. Squashmallows. Squishmallows, whatever. And a fox and a wolf and even a fox. Pretty cool. Remember, don't close this door. knock that one out this one I mean there's little ripples in it but I'm gonna keep at it try to smooth that out as best I can not against using body filler I already have a giant jug of it more than I'll probably ever need um, not against using body filler on this thing I'm probably gonna use a fair amount but uh, I don't want it to be big, thick globs of it. I don't want it to be super thick. Just very thin, slim coat to fill in little dings and you know. making an awful racket and I'm sure my neighbors are not appreciating it so I'm gonna close my garage door put some ear pro on definitely can't see what I'm doing so now the garage door is closed got my ear pro
try to get this right here. That is quite the fold. Ooh, that's a big crease. I'll ever be able to get that flat. So, but it's straight. I mean, the big things are gone. Floor is all patched up. Um, I decided against the Raptor lining. I'm just paranoid that it's gonna crack somewhere, and then water will just seep in, and I'll have rust just building between the Raptor liner and the and the body. So I'm gonna go ahead and just paint it with the same paint that I use for the frame and go from there i feel like using this paint will also make it easier for maintenance um, if i ever need to if i decide later on that something's wrong i need to cut something out re-weld it whatever um i'd have to grind away the wrapper line and then to reapply it it'll just be easier if i'm using this stuff Thank you. 
don't see myself getting much done today. My hands are already hurting pretty bad. Man. There it is. Tumbleweed Garage.